Welcome back. So last time I showed you all the stuff that I found that was like thrifted second hand. So this video is going to be all the stuff that I found new. I got stuff at uh, Target, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. Um, what else did I get? A few other places, but this was all, all new stuff, but I found that all at a really good discount in price. So I just wanted to show you some of the things that I found. A lot of it is going to be for my classroom, but I did find some stuff for my craft room as well. So the first thing I want to show you is some borders for a bulletin board. Um, I don't know exactly how I'm going to use them yet, but they were such a good deal. I got four packs. I got two different designs and I got two of each. So the first one are these little foxes. And I thought they were so cute. And on the reverse, they're just green chevron. I thought it was really cute and they were on sale for 87 cents a pack which is a good deal they were normally uh, seven dollars so it was an awesome awesome deal and then the second one I got is just a houndstooth and these are both the same one side is like a red and black and the other side is a white and black and so I just thought they were all really cute I don't know exactly how I'm gonna use them yet or what I'm gonna use them with but I thought they were really cute so um Along those same lines, I found some other little border packs at Target, and these were a dollar each, but they're just little different colored apples, and I just thought they were so cute. And I actually got several of them. There's 15, 15 in each package, but they're kind of small, and so I thought I would probably need several, and I just thought they were so cute for a dollar each. So I got a few packs of those. Again, I don't know exactly what I'm going to use them with. And then I got two of these dry erase pockets in pink because I love pink. Um, again, most of the stuff I don't know exactly how I'm going to use it, but these were a dollar each, I believe. Yeah, a dollar. And so I just picked them up. I'm going to use them in my classroom somehow. Um, I also found this classroom rules poster and I apologize I did not realize until I was doing my other video that it's backwards to you I thought it would show it regular so I'm going to try to figure out how to get my camera to show it not backwards for the next time um but it says our classroom rules and I just thought it was cute it's got lines a couple lines on the side and then several on the side so I just thought it was good for a dollar okay so this next thing I'm really excited about um, they're just little clipboards, and they say good vibes. I like them because they have these little apples, and they have all these music notes on them. And so, I love these. I got these at the Dollar Tree, so these were a dollar a piece, and I actually picked up 20 of them. I had to go around to a few different stores to get that many, and I would still like to get about 10 more, because my plan for them is to have enough for all of my students to use them because in a music, I'm a music teacher, and so in a music classroom, we don't have desks or tables or anything like that. It's usually just a big open room. Um, occasionally we'll have chairs or risers or something like that, but I thought these would be great for the kids to each have one. So if we are doing some kind of like writing assignment on paper or like maybe an exit ticket or some kind of assessment, I thought it'd be great each kid could have their own and they could just spread out throughout the room and work on them. Um, I really don't like yellow like at all, but I just thought they were so cute and so I have like 20 of them right now. Like I said, I'd like to get like about 10 more, but we'll see if I can find more. They've been sold out of them, so we'll see. Um, okay, so most of the rest of this stuff, little stuff, is going to be from Target from the dollar spot. So I picked up some of these little adhesive label pockets. Um, I've been seeing other, um, on other channels, teacher teachers using them. So I got two packs of the square ones and two packs of the rectangle ones. These are $3 each. Not that you can read that, it's backwards. But um, I thought I could use them in my classroom and maybe my craft room, because like I said, I'm trying to get it organized. Um, so we'll see, I just figure buy them when you see them. So I got two of each of those. Um, I also got two packs of their bulletin board accents. They're just little like speech bubble type deals. There are 24 in each one. 
and I don't know what I'm going to use all of them for, but I did have an idea of like on a bulletin board in my classroom, putting different types of music notes, like picture of like a eighth note and maybe a quarter note, and then putting these next to them, maybe giving them like little faces on the circles and having like putting these next to them saying like, I am an eighth note or I'm a quarter note, I'm worth one beat or whatever. I just thought it'd be really cute, almost like the music notes are talking since I teach elementary music. I just thought it'd be really cute. And these were a dollar each, so I thought why not. And then I found a couple of packs of stickers at the dollar spot. I thought they were really cute. I love how it's got like a little xylophone, um, it's got little music notes. Um, I just thought it was, these were so cute. And they're all school related. It's got a little violin, I didn't notice that before. I just thought these were so cute for a dollar. And so I picked up two of them. Love them. Um, and I also got two packs of these next things. They are um, reward certificates. And so it says great job presented to you and then four. Um, and since I do music, I thought these would be great like for like performance awards and stuff like that. Or just to have, like, if a student does something, like, awesome, if they go above and beyond or, like, help me out or something like that. I thought these would be great. Um, they were a dollar for 24 of them. So I got two packs. I have 48 of them. Hopefully those will get me through the school year. Um, maybe not the whole year, but hopefully. Um, I just thought these were really cute, and I thought the students would love them. I always liked getting stuff like that when I was a student, so why not? And then this next thing is just like calendar cards. I believe these are for like a pocket square calendar or pocket chart calendar. But I just thought they were cute. They, well, again, they're backwards. They have all the different months and different colors and they've got the days of the week. And it's got all the numbers. It's just folded up inside. But I just thought it was cute for a dollar. Um, it's put up on a bulletin board, maybe have different pockets to where I can change the days of the week out. I don't know if I'll do a pocket chart, but I'll figure out some kind of way to put them up to where I can change them. But I just thought it was really cute. I love the colors on it. So, um, I found this little stamp at Michael's, I believe. Um, and again, it's probably backwards, but it says awesome, great job, and oh yeah. And normally they were $5.00. But I had a coupon um, for 40% off, I believe it was. So that would have been $2 off. So I, I think it was $3. Um, so basically a dollar a stamp. And so I just thought this would be great. Like if I do any kind of assessment or, or like exit ticket or anything like that, I could put that on there, on their paper. Just make them feel good about themselves. I thought it was cute. Okay. So these next few things are like organization. Um, most of these are going to be for my classroom. Some of them I made put in my craft room. Um, as I've mentioned before, I love pink. It is my absolute favorite color. So most of these things are pink. Um, I found these really cute little boxes. Um, I think, I want to say I got them at Walmart for like 97 cents. I'm not 100% sure how much they were. But they have these little clippy things on the side and the lid comes off. And I just thought these were so cute. Um, I think they were called crayon boxes, so I think they're for crayons. Probably won't use them for that. I honestly don't know for sure what I'm going to put in them, but I just thought they were so cute and easy to store. And then I found these other really cute little pink buckets. Again, I think they were at Walmart. Yeah, from Walmart. I think they were a dollar. And they're just these little pink bins. They've got little handles. And I just thought they were so cute. I got four of them. Again, I don't know what's going to go in them yet, but I just thought they were so cute and I had to have them. Again, about a dollar a piece. So, these next two things I got at Target. Um, you may have seen these on other channels. I've seen them on other channels and I just think they're so cute. They're these little plastic bins and they're really heavy duty. Like, they're they're pretty solid. These were a dollar a piece. Uh, or no, excuse me, they were $3 a piece, and I got three of them in this size. Um, I don't think it has the sizes on here, but they're so cute, and I love them. Um, and then I got three of these, like, bigger plastic ones, same color. Um, and I thought these would be great to store, um, different types of musical instruments, like, like maybe, um, 
can't think rhythm sticks or like finger cymbals or just other little percussive instruments for my elementary music class. And then, you know, I, maybe this one, these for like recorders or something like that. I could have a different bin for different classes. Um, so each class would have their own recorder bin, something like that. I'll figure that out, but I just thought they would be great to help organize my classroom. And then I think I just have one, one or two more things to show you. They kind of go together. Um, so I have a sewing box that I've had for a very long time. I want to say I got it from my mom, maybe. Um, but I really don't like it. Like I said before, um, I don't really like yellow, and it's yellow, so I don't even know why I, why I have it. Um, so I've been wanting to get a new sewing box for a very long time. Um, probably like five or six years I've been looking for a new one. Um, and so I found this. I originally didn't get it for that purpose, but like after I got it, I was thinking it would make a really good sewing box. And so it's this cute little pink bin. And the lid snaps off, and um, it's got this cute little, like, lifting storage tray in it. So, I thought this would be great because I could put, like, my fabric scissors, I could put, like, my sewing needles, stuff like that in it. And I think it was normally, how much were you? I think it was normally, like, $15 or something like that, $15, $20. But they had them on sale for, I think, 60% off. So I ended up getting this for $6, which I thought was a really good deal. I mean, it's a big little, it's a big box. You know, it's it's pretty good size. What does it say the size? It's 14.5 quarts, which is pretty good size. And then on the same shelf, like right above it, they have these other cute little bins. And they're this exact same color. And they actually fit down inside of it, like, perfectly, if you can see that. So I think they're actually meant to go in here because if you take the three apart, they actually fit perfectly. It's the exact same size. So whenever you put the, the top part back in, again, they're, they're stacked together, so it's not the exact height, but they come to like here. So I just thought it'd be perfect um, for like a sewing box. And again, these were on sale. So I think I got the three of these for like $2. So I thought it was a really good deal. Um, and I think it will work out really well. So, um, that is everything that I have for my haul for my shopping this weekend. I'm probably going to go shopping again this weekend, so I will have more um, shop with me and haul video probably next week, next weekend, maybe Monday or Tuesday. Um, and I would also like to do like a craft room organization video probably in the near future. Um, I've been working on that pretty consistently for the past couple of weeks, just trying to get it organized. And it's kind of a mess right now because I painted the walls a little while back. And so in order to do that, everything had to be moved to the middle of the room. And so everything's just been like piled in boxes and tubs and stuff like that. And so <clears throat> I've been trying to go through and like reorganize. Um, I just recently got a bookshelf in there. Um, as I mentioned before, there's like no storage in there. I have a small closet. Um, I have a desk that my dad built that has some, like, shelf space on it. And then I have another, like, cabinet shelf thing that I've had for a while. But that's really the only storage I have in there. And so I'll probably show you some footage of me, like, just organizing that and show you some tips on how I found to organize for a small space and things that I found really cheap um, that I've used to organize. So hopefully you'll enjoy that. Um, I'm hoping to do that within the next week or so. Um, leave, um, make sure to subscribe if you are liking these videos, if you want to see more, um, more videos like these, um, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more. Like if you want notifications when I post a new video, make sure to subscribe. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I will catch you next time.